I'm Jennifer Ortiz, and I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Heckman from Rutgers University and Teresa Lance from Green Living. Hi, thanks for coming. Hi, thanks for having us. So can you tell me a little bit what, why you're here today? Um, I'm with the Green Living Group. Uh, we are sponsored by the Friends of the East Brunswick Environmental Commission. And we have a meeting coming up, which is hosting Dr. Joseph Heckman here, and he's going to be talking about local foods. Okay, and can you tell us what you're going to be speaking about uh, more specifically? Well, the title of my presentation is Who's Your Farmer and Why? Mm -hmm. And it's about how to find a really good farmer to produce uh, artisan foods, foods of exceptional quality. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us why that's important? What's the difference between supermarket food and farmer's food? Well, there's been a huge change in the kind of foods we've been eating and where we've been getting our foods over the last century. Uh, it used to be that uh, you would know a local farmer and you would be purchasing food directly from the farm and the uh, farm uh, fresh food would be um, in its natural organic mm -hmm. state and it was uh, from animals out on pasture or it was um, crops grown with um, manure or compost and um, it, compare that to today where we have um, food that's packaged in plastic, it's been changed in many ways uh, from its original fresh, fresh state and it's maybe traveled uh, across the country or at least a great dif distance and it's got barcodes on it and ingredient labels mm. but the ingredient labels don't tell you the whole story mm. and there's really some value to getting to know the farmer, where the food came, has come from and, mm -hmm. um, and how that can make um, important differences in the quality of the food. Is it uh, healthier to get food from a farmer then, you're saying? Um, yes, I would think uh -huh. so. I mean, it all, in a sense, comes from a farmer, but yeah. it's really um, a matter of what kind of farmer. Is it a farmer that's um, practicing or organic management, okay. um, or is it um, a farmer that's um, got animals in confinement and uh, cages and um, concentrated Farms, animal feeding yeah. operations uh -huh. where they're mm -hmm. fed um, diets that um, are not really like they would in in nature, mm -hmm. um, like a diet that's uh, for ruminants that would be very high in grain content mm -hmm. wouldn't be the normal diet for um, a cow, for mm -hmm. example. Okay. And can you tell us about the Green Living, uh, what you're part of? Um, well, Green Living is sponsored by the Friends of the East Brunswick Environmental mm -hmm. Commission, so they give us a lot of support. Mm -hmm. um, we have meetings once, about once a month. Um, mm -hmm. We started back in September, mm -hmm. and we just, you know, we are an open group, so everybody's invited to come, everybody mm -hmm. in the community, and um, we're just looking to discuss uh, environmentally friendly issues. And where do you meet? Uh, at the library. At the library. Um, all that information can be found mm -hmm. on um, our website, the Friends website, mm -hmm. at friendsebec.com. Mm -hmm. um, uh, all the meeting dates are there uh, if you go under the events page. Um, and what other things do you guys do besides uh, meet events where you speak and educate the public? What else? Uh, well, we started out uh, talking about energy, uh, energy conservation, how uh, energy use is related to food production. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've, we've talked about environmental conservation. Um, now we're on local foods. Mm -hmm. Food, foods is a popular topic right now, um, and, and why local foods is important. Um, and we do. Um, I always associate a book to read. I don't require. We don't require a book to be read, but um, mm -hmm. you know, for those who do have time, uh, mm -hmm. we associate a book like this one. Like this one right <laughs> What's here. What's this one about? Uh, this one was recommended actually by Dr. Joseph Heckman mm -hmm. as well. Um, it's *The Dirty Life* by Kristen Kimball, mm -hmm. and it's about a woman who um, was a city girl from New York, and she um, met a farmer and married him, mm -hmm. and she became a farmer herself. So it's very interesting <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I would recommend the book because it's um, 
got some good information in it, but it's just really entertaining to mm -hmm. it. But the other thing it does is it really uh, shows what a struggle and how challenging it can be to start up a new farm. Mm -hmm. And there's some painful experiences that she describes in here, but also she talks about really good food, about how mm -hmm. to produce uh, food organically or in its fresh state, and how they established a community-supported agriculture. Mm -hmm. And what other thing that's really unique about the book is how, um, unlike some community-supported agriculture, it was about like a whole diet. It produced practically everything that you would need. Uh, in other words, not just vegetables, but vegetables in combination with um, meat, milk, and eggs. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's like a CSA for um, your whole shopping list, mm -hmm. pretty much, mm -hmm. at that farm. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Buying local um, foods that are in season and eating foods that are in season and you even get ideas in the book. She gives you ideas on how to store foods throughout the winter. And why do you think this is important for people to know or to get from local farmers? Um, well, uh, buying local foods mm -hmm. is good for the economy. It's good for local businesses. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for the environment. Um, there's less use of fossil fuels. Uh, mm -hmm related to transportation, you know, some of the foods are transported all the way around the world. Um, and it's good for um, each individual, healthier individuals, because you're eating uh, fresher, healthier foods. So can you give us a demonstration about the difference of supermarket food and local farmer's food? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I brought along some eggs to illustrate the differences that can result from the way farming is carried out. Okay. Um, what I have here are some organic eggs, mm -hmm. uh, and um, there's two of them in here. And this came from the supermarket. And um, organic eggs are good. I, I'm I'm fine. Uh, I believe they're, they're you know very nutritious food, but um, one of the concerns about organic is that right now the organic standards do not require that the uh, the chickens be out on grass pasture. Mm -hmm. um, I raise chickens in my little farm. I have a two acre farm. And this is an egg that I brought from my farm. Mm -hmm. I just gathered it today. Oh, and fresh. so it's a fresh mm -hmm. egg. Um, but what I um, would like to illustrate is a color difference okay. um, of the egg yolk mm -hmm. if I crack them open. Okay. So let's take a look. And the color difference is, um, it shows, what is it, what does it show? Is it the beta carotene from the grass you're eating or is it something? When, um, when chickens are out eating greens, mm -hmm. uh, they will uh, pick up a lot of the carotenes and other compounds that mm -hmm. are in the grass mm -hmm. and then this will uh, be transferred into the egg yolk. Mm -hmm. so. Even the eggshell looks lighter and that one looks well, more... Well, that could be even a result of something else. That, okay. The, the eggshell I think is not that meaningful okay. because okay. that could be simply a result of the breed of chicken. These, oh. these actually may not be the same breed of chicken. I don't oh, know I what breed of chicken this is. Mm -hmm. But the difference that I'm trying to emphasize mm -hmm. is pasture. Having mm -hmm. the chickens outdoors on grass, even at this time of the year, as long as there's not snow on the ground, my chickens are outdoors eating grass. Okay. So, here you see one egg. Mm -hmm. This is the um, store-bought egg. Mm -hmm. And now, this is the egg from my own farm, and I know the chickens are out on pasture. Mm, and um, that. Big so difference. So uh, I think you can see that That's there's beautiful. a difference in color here. There's more That's nutrition. Awesome. If and you I look very close, you can even see beyond the yolk, there's uh, other differences as well. Just like the, um, the character of the whites around the yolk look different. This one looks more watery and this yeah, one has that. more like it's firm muscle tone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might it's say thicker mm -hmm. substance. Yeah. So that um, one's more orange, it's got more nutrition and it's right. fresher. <laughs> and um, the uh, the studies that have been done on this mm -hmm. sort of thing have mm -hmm. shown that when chickens are out on pasture, they have access to pasture, uh, that the eggs will have uh, more vitamin A more vitamin E, 
Mm -hmm. And there's some indication that they may even have more vitamin D, which they get from the sunlight mm -hmm. by being outdoors. Um, that would especially the case in the summer, and probably more vitamin K too. But mm. there hasn't been as much research on vitamins D and K That's um, interesting. about the eggs. And so a lot of times people have this idea that well, okay, mm -hmm. they're looking for free range, but that might just be running around inside of a barn, mm -hmm. and that won't make much nutritional difference. I mean, it's nice humanitarian-wise that they're not but they have in to a be cage, outside eating grass. Um, but mm -hmm. uh, if you really want the nutritional quality mm -hmm. difference, then they need to be outdoors, out on grass. That's great, and uh, when and where will this event be taking place so people can learn more about this? Okay, uh, Dr. Heckman's uh, talk will be on February 27th mm -hmm. in the East Brunswick Pub Public Library. Mm -hmm. um, and it starts at seven and runs till nine o'clock. It's in meeting room one. Okay, thank you so much for coming and telling us uh, that information. It's great to know. And I'm Jennifer Ortiz, reporting for EBTV.